down to three, so let's One clear. Day. One, two, three, Claire! Claire were up for the challenge and maybe fancied their chances at Pierce Park in Longford against a Tyrone team decimated by injuries. No fewer than five players falling victim to the dreaded cruciate in just six weeks. And when Claire levelled the contest in the second half, they might well have thought that victory was within their grasp. But Tyrone's makeshift team responded magnificently to score 1-8 without reply, showing character and resilience to reach the quarterfinals. Yeah, we've been very unlucky. Um, the likes of Shannon, Jolene, Nicola Donnelly, Patricia and Derf, like five big losses, five cruciates in six weeks. I don't know where the luck has come out of, um, but I suppose it's, that's a chance. Somebody's unfortunate, everyone else gets a chance to step up and we have to step up and do it for them girls, you know, give it give it everything we have. You don't know when your last day is going to be as they've seen. It was very unfortunate and we wish them all the best in the recovery. So it shows the character of the squad and the strength of the squad of the, the new girls coming in? Yeah, there's a, a lot of good work done on Andrea to Tyrone. There's a couple of girls coming in and hopefully, you know, we'll keep going on, see where we get to and it'll develop the girls for the future. It's all positive within the camp. I don't know what other people think I'd say but what's important to us is what we think and we think everything's positive and we're looking forward to the challenge that lies ahead. Tyrone Ladies Football is very strong at club level and that's been shown now with the amount of players coming in. Good strong squad. Yeah there's always loads to pick from. Same again next year there'll be new faces in again. It's always going to grow and grow and grow and it's going to get stronger from youth right through to senior football. You're one of the younger players of course. What do you think of Tyrone Ladies Football at the minute? The older players still in there. What do you think of the mix that's there? I think the mix is probably perfect. Like It's the same uh, as in the men's team. Like You need that mix of experience coming through with youth and hopefully that will stand to us in the next game. And the likes of Cathy Donnelly there popping up with a great goal. Yes, yeah, just typical Cathy. She'll always, you can always trust on her to get us the score when we need it. Oh, I suppose I had enough white all day. It was about time one went in. Um, just was in the right place at the right time. And it was at the time when Tyrone got back into it and it was a terrific response to them drawing level. Yeah, well, we knew that Clare's a good team like, and they were always going to be in the game and we've seen them, they went to extra time against Kildare so they're a team that never goes away. But when we went level, we knew we just had to keep doing what we were doing right and um, keep plugging away at it and the chances would come. And yourself today had the job of marking Navo Day. Um, how tough was that and how important was that? Yeah, big player for Clare. Um, just... Uh, trying to keep her as quiet as possible. I think I uh, did okay the first half and then she came in did a wee bit more in the second half but all in all just happy with the team performance and the result. Yeah the defence was very good and your goalkeeper not for the first time this year has come up with a couple of great saves. Yeah so Shannon's so trustworthy like she'll always get you a save and she kept us right in there in the first half when things were got tight and that's what you need. Well looking around the rest of the championship where do you see the, the big threats? I mean Cork have obviously lost a couple. Um, yeah, well, you know what, nobody, I can't think anybody in the draw is going to be an easy draw by no means, but it's going to be a challenge, but sure, that's what that's why we're here for, that's why we play football, so we're looking forward to it. So Tyrone's still in there, despite all the injuries and keeping going? Despite five cruise shits and anything else that's going on, we're still in there and we're in with a fighting chance.